last few months, I, I, I kind of did a thing. I started the 66 days of data. This was to refresh my data science basics and to establish better data science habits. For those who aren't familiar, this challenge is simple. Spend at least five minutes every day learning data science for 66 days and report on the progress that you make to the community of your choice every single day. This establishes two very important habits for this field. The first one is continued learning and the second is sharing of your projects. First, I wanna say that I was unbelievably impressed with the engagement on this initiative. The Discord server that we started has gained over 2,500 members with hundreds of people posting their progress every day. The 66 days of data hashtag has over 600 followers on LinkedIn and an incredible amount of engagement on Twitter that I've had a little bit of trouble quantifying. So if anyone knows how to do that, definitely let me know in the comment section below. People have been the most impressive part of this challenge. They've tracked their progress on GitHub. They've made shareable Google Sheets and Notion templates for everyone, and even made a GitHub repo with a ton of consolidated resources. These are all linked below, and they're incredible ways to contribute to a community. Special thanks to Andrew Mao, all of the admins on the Discord server, and just every single person who's been a part of this journey. It's been so awesome to see everyone grow, and I'm truly at a loss for words at how incredible the engagement has been at how many people got involved in this, in this initiative. With all that being said, even though I just finished my first 66 days, this is only the beginning. I'm planning to do another 66 days at the beginning of the year, and I truly expect this community to continue to grow. I made this video to do a retrospective on my first 66 days of data journey. There are quite a few things that I learned along the way, and I think these will help you to have more success with the initiative going forward. This will be focusing less on the technical concepts and more on the specific actions relating to the challenge. I will say most of these things are specifically things that I needed to improve on, and some people did these incredibly well. I learned a tremendous amount from others during this challenge. Honestly, it was incredibly inspiring to see other people doing the 66 days of data challenge more effectively than myself, <laughs> the person who created it. Okay, let's jump right in. So the first thing that I probably could have done better with was setting clear goals. Something that I really struggled with during my 66 days was thinking about what to work on or learn each day. I had some resources and books lined up, but I should have framed those into a more systemized plan. I also should have taken some time to set out some individual projects that I wanted to focus on uh, to complete before the time was finished. As it stands, I got about halfway through the finance project I was working on, but I was a little concerned that I wasn't learning the breadth of things that I wanted to during the time period. Setting clear expectations for myself upfront would have been extremely helpful uh, in my case to avoid these pitfalls. Now, the second thing is that you shouldn't compare yourself to others, but definitely use other people as inspiration. Everyone's situation is unique and it can be extremely intimidating to see other people making more progress than you are. I found myself wondering how some people could do such good and consistent work every day. This definitely led to some imposter syndrome on my part. You know, here I am, this data science YouTube guy, and there are students out there who are running circles around me. It's important to realize that your journey is different from others. And the fact that they're doing more impressive stuff right now is likely because they work their way up to that point. You really never know about other people's situations. I still find other people doing amazing things really inspiring. The fact that someone else is doing great things means that I am likely also capable of doing those things over time, but I'm not just gonna flip a switch and tomorrow be able to do those things. Or it's just, you know, that youthful energy that I don't quite have anymore. All right, the third thing that I learned was that habits definitely work. Even after the 66 days, I realized that I've still been working on my projects every day and that I've been sharing the results with my friends. I've toned it down just a bit on Twitter, but I'm still very comfortable with sharing my progress with the world. And I'm obviously not shy about letting people know about my projects, you know, like my podcast. So the fourth thing that I, that I learned that would have really helped me over the course of this project was that you should report what you did rather than just what you're going to do. Even better, report on both things. For a couple of the days of the challenge, I found myself just tweeting out in the morning what I was going to do, 
and completely forgetting about it until right before I was going to bed. I ended up squeaking in my five minutes before, before bed, but this is not sustainable. I think most people picked up on this idea a lot earlier than I did, but it's definitely better to share after you've done something. There's also a lot more to share in this scenario. It's very fun and, and engaging to share progress that you've made. That's how it should have been designed in the first place. The fifth thing I took out of this challenge was the one that makes me the happiest. Um, my favorite thing about this whole initiative has been the community aspect. There's such an incredible and helpful presence on the Discord, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, on any of these platforms, and I personally wish I engaged more in these communities. I was obviously active in answering questions, but I really wish I had asked more questions along the way. Everyone, including myself, can learn from the wisdom of the crowds. Again, you, you, you probably shouldn't ask uninformed questions, just Google everything first, but people are incredibly effective at answering fringe cases. Who knows? Through these questions, you might find a partner for a project or learn something completely new that isn't even related to your original question. So the last thing I learned is probably pretty obvious, but you shouldn't just stop at 66 days. Just because I finished the first 66 for myself doesn't mean I can stop learning or stop sharing my work. I've taken a little bit of time off from Twitter, but I'm doing my best to keep these habits rolling going forward. Okay, so what is next? As I mentioned before, I'll be starting up the 66 days of data again in January at the beginning of the year. I plan to hopefully integrate all of these improvements into my new approach. I'm also planning to try to better aggregate the incredible work that other people have done. It would be so cool to see what everyone worked on each day so that others new to the program or new to the journey have a map to work from. I'll be doing this next version, this next iteration on LinkedIn rather than Twitter. And I think that this will be just a fun little shakeup to help improve the reach. Again, I am so grateful for everyone who's been involved and I'm hopeful that the next iteration is gonna be even better than the first. And I hope to see you involved. Thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey. For more information on the 66 days of data, the Discord server, any of those things, the articles that I've written, the videos I've published, and the link to the Discord server are linked below. Really like dinosaurs.